Hello class, this week I've just got a few tips for you. There's not going to be any homework. Uh, you guys have been working on your Google SketchUp quite a bit. Hopefully you feel as though your skills are coming along. Um, the best thing to do is keep using it. The assignment there for week eight, I've extended that deadline to give you a whole nother week. I think there was a lot more work than I originally thought in there to create that uh, model. So please take that extra time, play with Google SketchUp, really learn it. It's, it's a great tool for you guys uh, to use to be able to show your uh, solar installations. And so this week I'm going to explain expand on that a little bit more and show you a couple features in SketchUp that can kind of help you uh, generate these models of uh, houses and buildings with more of the uh, information that Google has available in it. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've opened up my Google SketchUp again using Google SketchUp Make that's the latest version here uh, all I did was open the, a new file in uh, inch, a template with a template using inches and feet first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Derek here and press delete and get Derek out of my my field here so that he doesn't uh, get in my way uh, but what I want to show is actually using some Google map data to actually help you to uh, make a model of a house so what I'm going to do is up on the top bar here all the way over this icon right here it says add location if you click on that add location tab it is going to bring up Google Maps and actually uh, this is previously where I zoomed in from so I'm going to actually just zoom out so you can see more of what you would get if you guys clicked on it, it is usually you'll get the whole United States that come in here start out something like that or maybe even up back a little bit further so you just need to zoom in to the location if you have a clients uh, location that you're going to try to find you'll just have to zoom in and find it so in this case I am going over by Century College and I am randomly going to pick a house out over here so here we can zoom in we can see Century College right here uh, I just randomly picked a house that is up uh, just north of County Road E and uh, I just zoomed in here I'm gonna keep zooming in and I am going to find this house I'm gonna use this house right here this isn't necessarily the best uh, satellite view because it's actually off at slight a slight angle but that's okay we can still use it the data for what we want to use uh, what we need it for so I'm gonna zoom all the way in here and there is my house that I'm going to make a model of or I want to make a model of. I won't make the whole model. I'll just show you how to get it started. But So what we're going to do, we're zoomed in all the way. I want to use this. I'm going to click on the top here and say select region. Select region. It brings in and it gives us some tab or uh, push pins on the side here. If we drag these in, we can limit the data that we want to download into our our model here. So in this case, I'm going to keep it kind of tight around my model. I don't need all this other uh, surrounding house information but if you did you could zoom out and get as much data as you want once you have that pin located where you want it press grab now it's going to add location now it's going to go back into your Google SketchUp and show that image right here it doesn't look like much but if we zoom out and rotate around sure enough there's our image there is our house that we want to make a model of now I'm going to show you how we can use this information now as you can see it's actually located so our green axis is actually pointing north so if you want to get a certain orientation that is fine now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this information to actually create the model of this house now week seven I showed you some views aerial views of the of a house and uh, I wanted you to create that model and I asked you to just make up the dimensions so it looks proportional so you without being at that house or without taking dimensions you would just have to guess at those dimensions well in this case what we can do is we can put some intelligence into that guessing although we won't know the exact dimensions we could come up with a rough idea if we look at the width of this house we can see that this is the back wall here and then it comes all the way over to here and it goes all the way forward we can kind of see it comes all the way up to the front here uh, although this is a slight of an angle slightly of an angle 
we can still get at least approximate dimensions. Now, what you'd want to do is use this box. Ultimately, I'd like to try to make a box that would go right around here. And I'm going to start back in this back corner right here. Now, the problem with this box tool is that it only goes orthogonally to the axes that it uh, creates. That is, it has created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this small box right here. And in this case, let's see, I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger. This box, now it's kind of weird, that box is in the same plane as my image. And they're kind of like right on top of each other. So it doesn't know which one's on top. That's why it's kind of, it's kind of um, flashing a little bit. So you just have to deal with this. But this back corner is in the right location. So I'm going to rotate this whole thing. But to rotate it, I'm going to click on my arrow, drag a box around my whole square. My whole square gets highlighted. I'm going to press rotate. Click on that back point, come to this side right here, and now I'm going to rotate that all the way around so it looks like it's pretty much parallel to that back corner of the house. So that this, this edge is pretty much lined up. Now, it's not the right size, but it's pretty approximate. So now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to deselect that. Click on my move command, and now I'm going to select this whole edge. Now this whole edge I'm going to... Try to pull that out to that the the side of the house. Then I'm going to do the same thing on here, and I'm going to uh, pull this all the way out, and it's going to be somewhere right down here, somewhere just about like that. Now I can see. Now that's basically the footprint of that house. Now I'm going to extend it up, click on it, drag it up. Now again, drag. I'm going to say it's 20 feet tall. It's a two-story house. There we go. Now I've got that guy on there. Now we can see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the garage, or at least rough in the garage where it's going to go. So in this case, the garage is coming off the house, so I am going to just grab my line tool. I'm going to click right on that line, and now you can see it has a purple edge there. The nice thing about this purple edge, it says it's perpendicular, and that's what I want it to be. So I want it to be perpendicular. I'm going to come over to this corner right there, perpendicular. Again, that tree is kind of in my way, but I'm going to. it looks like I can figure out where this is going to go. Right here, click that down, all the way back. Bingo, now I've got that. I'm going to extend that up. It's a garage. It's a one-story garage. I'll call that, oh, let's call it 10 feet. 10 feet right there. Now we can see, now we have our, our garage, our house kind of roughed in. Now from here, we can go in and add some additional detail. Now, uh, one thing that you may want to do is to figure out, how do I get those aerial views? Well, you may have used Google Maps in the past. Well, we can get those aerial views by going back to Google Maps, and I'm going to switch over to my web browser, and I'm going to go to Google. And actually, if you go up here and click on the little, little nine boxes, you can get the maps. And I'm going to close this sidebar down, so I'm going to hide that panel press on that. Now I've got my map just like we did when we had add location. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and zoom in and find that same house again. Same house again. So I'm looking for Century College down here. And let's see where we, here we are. Century College just north of Kiney Road E. I'm going to zoom in a little bit further here and zoom up. And sure enough, here's our house right there. So now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Now as I zoom in, it actually goes to an aerial view. I can see there is my house. So now I've got these views, the four views that I had showed you from week seven. Now this is giving me some information. This isn't necessarily the best image. You may have uh, gone to on site. You may have taken your own photos of the house and you may have better information than this. But if you're working on a, on a job that you may not have visited yet or you're trying to just uh, model up, you can just get this information. It's pretty useful. It even shows the deck off the back. You can see we've got a window off the garage. We've got a window up here. We've got some windows in front. Now, how do I get to the other side? If you go over to the left-hand side here, we can um, see there's a north on the top. If I click and drag on that north and I bring it over to the east side, I rotate around on that house. So now I've got another view. That's that same house. Now I've got the back view. I can see there's some windows coming out the back, sliding glass door. Uh, we got a lower level down here. 
I can then rotate that around again. Now I can see the other side. Again, this is not a very good view, but uh, it gives us some information. We've got some small windows here that we can identify. And then in front. Obviously, this house has got a big big um, tree in front, so it makes it a little bit hard to see the front exactly what it looks like. But in this case, we can get a lot of information about what those windows where the doors are, kind of what the important features are. A lot of it we can we can infer to just where those doors should be. Now there's one other thing that we can do is uh, uh, week seven I gave you a street view and you can actually get down onto the street view of this house. I'm going to zoom out just a smidge here and I'm going to take my guy. If I go to the left hand side I can get my street view guy and if I take him and I drop him right here they show and I want to rotate and I'm just kind of moving him around that little green arrow is pointing where your guy's going to be be viewing so I'm looking for the house with the big tree in front of it so now it's pointing right there I can drop my guy down and it is going to load my image well it's not this house it's the house next to it so I can just click over and uh, actually if I go up to the north here I can rotate that around so my guy is viewing right at that house so now I can see there's the house unfortunately there's a big tree in the way but if I um, I can get some information I can see that this upper level overhangs slightly on the lower level I can see those uh, windows down there I can see there's probably two windows up here um, so it gives you a little bit more information to actually start making your model from so these are, I just wanted to show you those tools. Again, you can go in the, the Google um, to get to the, to the maps, to get to the aerial views, get to the street views. Once you are in SketchUp, add your location to that and pull in that data. Now we can put this on here. So now, in this case, since, and I'll just show you real quick here, we have, uh, we know that this upper level is going to be stuck out uh, a little bit so I'm going to just I'm just going to draw a line across here roughly and I can pull this out just a little bit I could type in a foot or two foot but now I start making a more accurate representation of what that building actually looks like from here I can continue on and make the rest of the roof make the rest of the doors add all that in and make it look like a representation of that that is all I wanted to go over for this week. There is not going to be any homework. Please feel free to play around with this. Pull that, uh, uh, you know, try pulling in a location. Try at least doing at least this much blocking it in so you can start getting used to that. I know getting in with the roofs and the all those details are can get time consuming. But again, the more you play with it, the better you're going to get with Google SketchUp. And this can really help you out in doing your layout drawings for uh, your solar installations. That is all I have for this week. Um, uh, again, no homework. There's not going to be a discussion post. Next, The following week is going to be spring break, so enjoy it. Uh, and I will see you guys back uh, after spring break. We're going to be starting to talk about some mechanical and electrical layout drawings. So we're kind of going to go away from Google SketchUp for a little bit into uh, some other software. So get ready. That is it. I will talk to you guys later.